You had uh, mentioned that Come you... Come over here and speak into the magic yeah, stick.
But yeah, it's all physical. You have to find where that character's physical sense will lead your voice. Does that make sense to you guys? Is there something you do for your characters that's different? And now that you stop to think about it. You know what? For um, when I voice uh, Little Jekyll, I always voice Bardock the parody set. I couldn't sit down. I had to actually uh, get down on my knees. And I actually had to arc my back a little bit. My shoulders a little bit. I could play more like this. If I held it too far forward, it just didn't have the rest. But if I had it back here, he was able to give it rest here. Yeah. And, or now I actually have to arc my neck sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> get really into it. And holy Anna, that's hilarious. And painfully, you can sit next to that action. Yeah, but this comes out straight acting, too, just regular acting. I mean, it's amazing what you can do with a, a little switch in your physicality. Like a physical character who is confident. That's like this, right? Watch how easily this person moves his confidence. I just shifted my shoulders slowly. But what this means is that the whole character, what this means is that the entire character will change. And when you're a voice actor, that happens too. If you're a confident character, trust me, because watch actors, they will stand strong. If you're playing somebody who's not so sure of what's going on, all of a sudden, you, because if the chest falls in and the shoulders rotate forward, the head comes down, the voice kind of doesn't have the same, it doesn't have the same confidence anymore. And you're no longer a woman. <laughs> no, the voice is still in charge. But it, it, uh, the physicality does affect the character. Long answer to a short question. More questions? This one kind of ties into what you were talking about, actually. Do you find that there's a challenge to playing characters that don't reoccur as often, or maybe there's a gap of even a season before you play them again, getting the same feel and the same voice for them, and is there any technique you use to make that work? Please go for it. Um, yeah. It definitely is a challenge when you don't do something very often or you have to come back after doing it for six months. It, it gets, it's, just, it's hard to get back into like, the, the mindset of what you're doing. It's just voice and the actual acting in general. I one time recorded for something and I realized it sounded completely wrong, even though I thought I did, because I had to re-listen to myself. So, I didn't have anyone tell me I did the wrong bad job until I realized I recorded 30 lines wrong. Oh, so, yay! There was a... Uh, German puppet show like the Muppets called Hallow Spencer. It was on kind of 15 years ago. Any of you guys ever watch it? Hear it? Uh, may have been, I don't depend, it was syndicated. It certainly never ran network. Uh, there was a dragon in it called Poldy. I played Poldy. And Poldy was like this really cute little dragon. And she's very excited about everything and, and, and it was just really cute and it was funny and everything. And uh, we did, oh, probably. Well, episodes, uh, when the producer came to me and said, there's something different with the voice. I said, what? It, it's Poldy. I mean, he's a cute little dragon. No, no, no. Well, they went back and in a brilliant flash of insight, played me my audition from eight months previously. Uh, and Poldy was kind of like this. <laughs> no one ever had the sense play the character for me when we started doing the show. And I had to redo 12 complete episodes because I had no freaking clue what I was doing. There's a little thing that helps us out uh, when we do that. Cause guys, you gotta remember, sometimes we audition for these things. You audition for many, 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 many more things than you get. It's just the way of the world. So you audition for a million things. And often in the course of a voice audition, you will do two or three takes on a character. You'll try it this way, this way, and this way. What else the different takes? You'll send in all three takes. You've auditioned since then for hundreds of things. Six months later, they call you and they say, we want you. Oh, joy. <laughs>